Hey guys, I wanted to share some dance tips that have helped me and also like talk about like what goes into like, like my journey out of this past almost year. And I might tell a story about me and my crush, I don't know yet. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Fun fact, my straddle on the mat, which is kind of an over-split almost, like it's an over-straddle is what I'm calling it, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, is better than my straddle on the ground, which I do not have a straddle, like, but I am really close. I have made a huge improvement out of almost a year. First up, I didn't think it would last this long because it's not that I never wanted it to, like, end. It was always, like, it's a lot of money. I put a lot of money into my career. At least eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six dollars Because I got dance tops that, like, I spent money on. And I, let's see, ooh, my dance blocks. Like, I spent $9 on, like, that's something. This isn't me, like, bragging or, like, it's generally, I wanted to show you that, like, I, in case you're thinking, oh, your parents put all the money into it. No, I put money. Oh, my multi-loop stretching band. I put, like, $7 into that. Oh, my dance hammock, that was, like, 15 or $16. Or, let's See, oh, my hanging stretcher that I, like, used to have, that was, I think, 12 or $13. Or that went to the little girl that I teach dance, because she needed it more than I did. And not in, like, a negative way, that literally just me being, like, in, like, what it gets used for is something that I got very good at. And so I thought maybe it can help her, because... She's not perfect, obviously, but she is pretty talented and pretty amazing, and I'm not, like, being, like, when I say she's not perfect, nobody's perfect out there. Like, no dancer is perfect, but she has some talent, and I don't know if she's going to use it or not. That's up to her, and we'll see what the future has. Well, I'll see what the future has for her, and if it leads down a path with her using that talent and I'm gonna be very excited about that like and if it doesn't I'm still gonna be excited I because I definitely have taught her a few things I I showed her a few things that I can do that like dance related and I feel like I definitely have taught her a few but I'm not taking full credit or anything. I'm like, I'll take that 1% credit and then that 99% credit is going to her and anyone else who ever teaches her, like, dance or something. And I don't even need that 1%. It's just, like, it's nice to know that, like, like that I played a part in that. Like, that's something nice. You know, let me see here. Oh, my cheater shoes that I have. Like, those were, like, $4. I, I'm, like, you get the point, though. Like, I definitely have put money into it. And went, like, oh, soundproofing stuff. That was, like, $12. Like, I definitely have put money into this. And it's an expensive career, like. It's something that I feel like at the beginning, it's really expensive, it's really, really pricey, but at the end, it's worth it. I never do this to become, like here, what I say is I don't do this for the fans. I love the fans, I, I love all of my fans, and I'm really happy to have them as my fans, but that's not like... I don't do this to, like, m like only impress as you, like, I don't do it, like, only for the fans. Like, yes, I get excited when any you guys are liking, like, my content and stuff. Like, that gets me excited. 
and and yes, it's great like seeing oh I have views on a video or like likes. That's all great, but I do it for more than just that. I, I do it because number one, I love it and it makes me happy, and it's something that I have a good chance at becoming a pop star. Yes, the likes and the views, all of that is nice. And I wouldn't say it's like, I, I'm not happy with that because I am. Like, that's like a small part into it, but not like, it's like a tiny part. And, and then, like, and then, and I do it because it's a lot of fun and a lot of hard work, but like, fun work. So, like, that's something that I will say is that if anyone ever tells you work is not fun, they just haven't gone for their dreams. Or they haven't figured out what their dreams are. One of those situations. Or, or it could be both. And because, and I say this, like, now it's not work, but one day it will become work. One day it will become a career for me. And that's what I love. Um, like, at, I'm gonna be honest, like, at the, be some of the tips that I'm gonna say is, like, number one, be aware of every part of your body and what it's doing. Because when I first did a master class, I was, like, and what I mean by that is, like, be aware of your face and what it's doing. Be aware of, like, your legs and then, like, your arms like your feet, like all parts of your body, like be aware of what they're doing. And and if you can like like for an example, like when I first did a master class, I was so caught up in like trying to get as close as I could to a split that like I I was aware of what my feet were doing. They weren't pointed, they weren't flexed, they were just kinda like mm like, okay, like, not the best, and I didn't, in a way, I was aware of it, but I didn't make it a priority to fix them, and I should have. I should have made it a priority to point them, flex them, do something with them, make them look good, not a sloppy hot mess. Like, that's something, and then, well, I kind of also want to go into, because of the fact that that uh, when I first started, my face, it went, from, it went just blank. Like, no facial, nothing. It was, like, blank, boring, like, no one wants to see that, like. I, and so then I started working on it. I started fixing it. I started being aware of my face, making sure I was making facials, expressions, and then... Some of the things, the little things that, like, little things in dance are important. Like, they're just as important as the bigger things. Or things. And so, like, some of the little things started to slip. They weren't the greatest. They were, like, starting to get kind of sloppy and, like, a hot mess. And, and because I was so caught up in, like, the face. And finally, I told myself, I'm not doing this anymore. Or I'm not going to put all my attention on my face. I'm going to make sure my face is doing what it should. Making facial expressions. Telling a story. But also, I'm going to make sure that every single thing I'm doing. And from my, from my toes to the top of my head. Everything looks good, clean, and amazing. And because I never want, like, here's the thing, I never want to be the person that they watch the dance, like, someone like Abby watches the dance and then finds a flaw. And, like, that's just not me. Like, that's generally not me at all. Like, I mean, even though that life is there, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I am a perfectionist. I get really annoyed if I do something and it's not perfect. And sometimes that's just my type of personality. And like, 
like that very much my personality and like I'm also I would say I'm also very like focused when it comes to like training to be a pop star. Like I'm very much focused and I'm very much kind of in the zone and like the only person I really listen to is the teacher. Uh, and then I kind of just block everyone else out. Except for, like, I'll, like, pick one person and, like, I, I'll, like, kind of watch them a little bit. Like, it's kind of like a friendly competition. But what I mean by in the zone is that there will be time. I'm always early. Like, I, like, a big majority of the time I'm early. Not always, but, like, I would say, like, 96% of the time I'm early. And then, like... That 4%, I'm, like, not early, and then that's not me, like, not wanting to be early. It's, like, I, oh, like, internet problems or something. Oh, one time, there was one time that I was 10 minutes late for dance, but that, I had a, a good excuse that day because I had my second-to-last spine appointment ever. My last one is coming up this year. I think it's in, like, June or something, or April. I don't know. Unless they find a problem, but there's no problem. And so, I, but I was, like, ten minutes late because, uh, and that's, like, that's fine. Like, like and the thing was, that's why. But when I'm early, sometimes, like, sometimes I'll be early, and then, and, like, people, like, every once in a while, like, other people, like, I will log on, like, early to, like, for the class, you know, like, I, because I log on early so I can focus on me, and also to psych everyone else out. Like, I will start working on, like, jumps and turns that I'm really good at, just to psych everyone else out. Because then I'm in their head. It gets them a little bit nervous. And, and I'm perfectly, like, calm, fine. And that sounds rude. Like, that generally sounds mean. But Abby's taught us to do that. In dance, everything is a competition. And and, and sometimes you just got to psych the competition out. Uh, you got to get in their head a little bit. And it's not being rude. Like, it sounds rude, but... Uh, out of it, like, at the end, they understand it's dance. And it's life and it's competition. So they know, in a way, you're doing it not really to be mean, but uh, you want to uh, win. You want to be the best. And that's what I do. But also, so I can, like, stretch a little extra or, like, Anything that I can do extra to help me out. Sometimes I'll even have, like, dance privates with myself. I will literally, like, be logged on, on early, and I'll work on, like, handstands or something that I'm struggling with. And I generally don't, I have no clue what tonight has for me, so, or who my teacher is going to be tonight. I had hip-hop last night, which was, it was advanced hip-hop, and for once, I actually got kind of stumped, and, like, I struggled a little bit with a comp, oh, and that never happened to me in hip It was advanced hip-hop. I do the advanced hip-hop multiple times, but I feel like it wasn't, the combo itself was actually a lot of fun, because it was, like, we got to improv at the beginning. Like, she literally told, like, I just kind of felt, like, I really enjoyed the song. Um, like, the song was, like, one of the ones I felt, like, was more something that I'm used to. What I mean by that is some songs that she chooses, and I'm, like, it's not, like, what I listen to, and it just kind of, like, it takes me a second to kind of get used to it. 
That's when I instantly, instantly, even though I, like, don't watch the person, like, no offense to the, like, song or the artist. And it was an Ariana, Ariana Grande song. But, um, that was a pretty good song. Like, I, and so, like, I kind of just wanted, like, I feel like she could tell that I, like, really wanted to improv. And so she went, and all of a sudden she's like, I, okay, if you guys want, you can improv at the very beginning. And because she always does, like, a five, six, seven, eight, and, or, like, she'll do, a, like, as like soon as she's done, like, counting and stuff, that's when we start the combo. So there's this time period beforehand that we're just, like, standing there. And so we got to improv. And then I only improv after the combo because um, it's hard to, like, be aware of, like, timing and spatial awareness when we're on Zoom. So, like, I would, like, get through the combo because I, like, because if I focused and, like, tried to, like, slow down a little bit, a bit so we could all kind of be closer or to, like, close to the ending, like, at the same time, then that would throw me off, and I would be, like, super slow. So I just went with it, and I, like, threw a little bit of improv at the end. She didn't mind, or she didn't say anything about it, so. And it was a lot of fun, hip-hop improv, like, thing. And the reason it threw me off a little bit was because of the fact that uh, they taught her, like, how to share, like, the music, but when, but she was sharing her screen, so instead of, like, seeing her, like, I had to, she was, like, a tiny little square in her box, and usually, like, she's the one on the screen, and then, and so I had to, like, stop and, like, look at the tiny square, so I, she would go over, like, a section, like, like, three or four times before we did in that section with music. And then she would do it with us, like, a few times with the music, and then she would watch. And so I would, um, as she was, like, giving it to us, I would watch, like, once or twice, and then I would do it. That way, like, I could know what I was doing. So that made it... It wasn't even that challenging, like, it was the hardest one yet, and she's given us some, like, very fast, hard combos, and, like, none of them have stumped me, but this one, it was a lot of fun. I know that sound, my mom's watching the TV, but, that was, like, I'm, Saying that, like, I thought there will be times when people will put in the chat, like, they'll, like, say, like, hey, or something, like, in the chat, like, and I feel like they're just trying to be, like, real friendly and, like, maybe make friends or something. And I'm, like, I, I'm in the zone. You're all my competition. And you're all my competition, and actually, I will be honest. And my two dance friends that, like, do worldwide still. I had three dance friends, and one doesn't do worldwide anymore. But, uh, like, the ones that, like, I do worldwide are the ones that, like, I need to, like, challenge myself. Because I'll, like, I'll do something, and then I'll, like, kind of see what they're doing. Because at I don't do that in acro though because I'm in acro on everyone like I most of the people on there like I'm very beginner in acro so yeah and most of them have like are more advanced than I am so but with other style I'll like do that. I all like kinda of just like Focus on me, but then every once in a while, I'll take a look at what they're doing. And it's only, like, to make myself a better dancer because they are both really incredible, amazing, talented dancers. And I know I am, too.
And, like, I'm not putting myself down, but, like, yeah, hopefully you like this video.